What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 welcome newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, leads, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and get notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Libra from mid July of 2022. This will resonate if you have Libra in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio, and Midian are your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate with the rest. It's free general collective reading for sign of Libra. Um, I received one channel message in as I was meditating on your energy for mid-July 2022, and I heard a betrayal of a family member of the past is about to catch up in a huge way. That's all I heard so far, so you plug it in how it resonates. A betrayal of a family member is about to catch up in a huge way. So that could be a family member that's betrayed you, or you have betrayed a family member. Because energies can be reversed, so you have to plug yourself into the message or messages, however they apply. Um, this can resonate if you have Libra in any aspects of your chart. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, North Node signs for additional message or messages. Um, if this applies for you. Um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you plug it in how it resonates. So um, a betrayal of a family family member is about to um, be very significant, basically. So only you know if you're high vibrational or low vibrational. Only you know if you have betrayed a family member or family member in the past, Libra. So um, for some, I feel it's a family member or family member says betrayed you. For some, um, you might have betrayed family member or family members. However, that resonates and applies, okay? You have Phoenix and Earthworm. For some, you could be dealing with Fire Sign or Earth Sign. If you are, they could have Aries Leo Sides or Taurus Capricorn Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in, how it resonates, Libra. Spirit messages you have sign Libra. Humanity. A Scorpio of your past is about to become very, very, very significant. You were hoping this person was out of your life, but they are not. A Scorpio of your past is about to become very, very, very significant. You were hoping this person was out of your life, but I heard they're not. So you plug it in how it resonates, Libra. Some kind of Scorpionic energy. Uh, masculine or fem, they can have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Haven, or Jupiter charts. I heard you were hoping they were out of your life for good, but I heard, heard they're not. They're about to come back in a huge way. They're about to come back in a huge way is what I heard. They're about to come back in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. A protection order and a restraining order is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. For one, uh, Libra is about to place a protection and a restraining order. Some on one person, some on several people. For uh, one Libra, someone is going to place a protection order and a restraining order on you. A protection order and a restraining order is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. For one of you guys, you're going to place a protection order or restraining order on person, people, place, or situation. And for one of you guys, somebody's going to place a protection or restraining order on you. So you plug it in, however that resonates, in your own life, Libra. Spirit messages you have sign Libra. Only you know your particular story and situation, so only you know the action or actions you're going to take. Only you know what you've done in the past, and etc., 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 not anybody else. Spirit messages you have sign Libra. A private investigator that has been hired by an Aquarius. You thought this was going to benefit you, but it's actually about to backfire in a huge way. 
Okay, I heard a private investigator that has been hired by an Aquarius. I heard you thought it was going to benefit you in a huge way, but it's actually about to backfire. Um, whoever you are, you didn't hire this private investigator. I heard an Aquarius did. Um, but I heard you thought the private investigator was going to benefit you, Libra, in some shape, form, or fashion. But I heard it's, it's about to backfire in a huge way. It's about to backfire in a huge way. So somehow you thought this private investigator was going to benefit you, Libra. But you didn't hire this private investigator. An Aquarius did. So whoever this Aquarius is to you. But I heard it's going to backfire. It's about to backfire in a huge way. So you thought it was going to benefit you in a huge way, but um, somehow it's about to backfire and not benefit you in a huge way. So however that resonates and applies in one's life. Number 12 could be a very significant number on one's life. Number 12, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number on one's life. Number 12. A pedophile ring exposure and drug diversion exposure is about to become very significant in Libra's life as well. A pedophile ring exposure and drug diversion exposure and drug smuggling. And drug smuggling is about to become very significant in a Libra's life as well. So a pedophile ring exposure and drug diversion and uh, drug smuggling is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. Now, you could be the exposure energy of the drug diverter and the drug smuggling, or you could be the drug diverter or drug smuggler or involved, involved in some kind of drug diverter or drug smuggling energy. You have to place yourself in where you fit um, if you do. Um, you could be on the positive or negative spectrum of this is what I'm trying to say. Um, however, that resonates and applies in one's life, Libra. Um, some kind of drug diverter, drug drug, di drug diversion energy, um, whether you're on the positive end or the negative end. Um, and some kind of, um, what was the other one? Um, exposure of child pedophile ring. So whether you are involved in a child pedophile ring or you're helping expose the child pedophile ring, you plug yourself in wherever you fit, okay? Phoenix. A relationship with a Gemini is about to tank in a huge way. A relationship with a Gemini is about to tank in a huge way is what I heard. So some of you, one of you guys, relationship with a Gemini, Gemini masculine. A Gemini masculine. A relationship with the Gemini masculine is about to tank in a huge way. You can have Gemini and a sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, in Haven, or Jupiter charts. You plug in how it resonates. Libra. Phoenix. A Libra is about to get a huge burst of energy and pick themselves up. Get out of what was created. Okay, I heard a Libra is about to get a huge burst of energy and pick themselves up out of what was created. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So um, how, however that resonates and applies in your life, it sounds like it was a bad situation, though. Whatever the crap it is or was, and you're about to pick yourself up like a phoenix rising from the ashes and get out of some kind of toxic situation. For some, I think it was dealing with a Scorpio. Because um, you have Scorpio energy coming back into your life, and you don't want them to come back. Um, but it really could be whatever it is and however it applies in your life. So it's like getting back up and trying, and trying, and trying again. Energy, Phoenix rising from the ashes. Um, if that applies for you, Libra. And a Libra is going to try to reconcile with a family member soon, but no, it's not going to happen. This person forgives you, but they do not forget. And a Libra is going to try to reconcile with a family member soon, but I heard, no, this person forgives you, but they do, do not forget. So um, some kind of reconciliation or attempt of reconciliation with a family member. 
but I heard, no, this person forgives you. They forgive you, Libra, but they do not forgive. So they don't forget the past, So meaning they don't want to be around you, and they don't want to be around your energy or, or you um, because of the past. They do forgive you, but they don't forget. So if that resonates for you, Libra. Now, only you know if something negative happened between you and a family member in the past. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. And you have to plug this family member in how they resonate. But however that resonates, it applies for you. But whoever this family member is, you're not speaking to them right now or not in energetic contact with them right now. I'll tell you that. But they don't want to be around you. Um, just know that. So it, whoever, I guess whoever this is that you're wanting to reconcile with, um, whoever this person is, they are about to rise in a huge way. Intuitively, you know this. They are about to rise in a huge way. Intuitively, you know this. So you know that they're about to rise, basically. Maybe that's why you want to reconcile with them. I'm not sure. But this person, I heard they do not want to be around you. So um, if you know who this person is, just know they don't want to be around you. And um, I heard they're about to rise in a huge way, but they don't want to be around you because of the past. So um, as hard as that probably sounds to as hard as that is to take, you people have to accept if people don't want to be around them. That's their free will and right not to want to be around certain people. And this person doesn't want to be around you. So you just have to accept that, whoever you are and how that applies, okay? Earthworm. Come on, buddy. Come on. Stolen inheritance is about to become very significant. And a Pisces. Okay, I heard stolen inheritance is about to become very significant. And a Pisces. So some kind of stolen inheritance energy and a Pisces. Um, I don't know. Whoever this Pisces is and the stolen inheritance. Um, they're coming in as earthworm energy. So I'm feeling it's maybe a Pisces that stole stolen inheritance or you stole a stolen inheritance or somebody stole a stolen inheritance. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit and somehow a Pisces is connected to this. Um, I feel the stolen inheritance is earthworm energy, whether it's you that stole a stolen inheritance, the Pisces did, or you and the Pisces conspired to steal it. How that resonates. Um, but that's pretty crappy behavior for sure, for sure. So I look at that as earthworm energy. Um, earthworm energy in this deck is the lowest in the food chain. So like crap on the shoe, basically. It's like crap on the shoe. It's the crappiest behavior anybody could do to steal inheritance from anybody. So it's like earthworm energy. And that's just the truth. The temple path. A blown up meth lab is about to become very significant in a uh, Libra's life as well. A blown up meth lab is about to become very significant in a Libra's life as well. Some kind of blown, uh, it sounds like it's already blew up in the universe. A blown up meth lab. I don't know, man. I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs and I, I don't drink. Um, so however that resonates in one's life, some kind of blown up meth lab energy. Um, however that resonates, um, it's about to become significant in a Libra's life. So the temple path, the choice someone has made to, um, create a meth lab and the choice they have made to blow, um, to utilize it and it, and I guess mix the chemicals wrong, I'm presuming, and it now it is blown up. So you plug it in, how it resonates. For some, I think you might just know this person that, or people that with the blown up meth lab, for some, it could be your blown up meth lab. Maybe for some, you conspired with others to make the uh, meth lab. I don't know. But somehow, somebody made a choice to make a, uh, a meth lab and now it's blown up. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I don't know, man. I, I don't, I've never, I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs. I, 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 I don't know. 
the best I can tell you of what I've recognized from meth is watching Breaking Bad. And that's just the truth. So, I don't know. Another Libra is getting a huge wake-up call. Another Libra is getting a huge wake-up call. You, pl you plug it in, how it resonates. The Temple Path. A Libra is about to Google map somebody's address, their home. A Libra is about to Google map somebody's address, their home, is what I just heard. You plug in how it resonates, so somebody's about to type in somebody's address in Google Map and look at their home off Google Maps. Um, I guess there's a reason you're about to do this, uh, Libra, whoever you are. Um, I don't know why you're so interested in somebody else's home, unless you're thinking about purchasing it. I'm not sure. You plug it in how it resonates. Uh, whoever you are, Libra. Um, I heard you're about to Google Map somebody's address at their home to look at their home off of Google Map. Um, I don't know, man. I'm not obsessive like that. So however that resonates, unless there's a specific reason why you're doing it, I'm not sure. No, a private investigator is about to do the right thing. A very significant conversation with the judge is about to be had. Okay, I heard no, a private investigator is about to do the right thing. A very significant conversation with a judge is about to be had. And then many, 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 many series of chain of events are about to occur after this. Many. Some is going to go positively for you if you're on the positive side of karma. Some it's going to go negatively for you if you're on the negative side of karma. And then um, many series of chain events are going to happen after the conversation with the judge, um, I'm presuming, with the private investigator. And then um, many series of chain events are going to happen. Some for you if you're on the positive side of karma. Some if you're on the negative side of karma. So decisions here. Decision, decision energy. Uh, the temple path is a decision. Is a path choice you make, a free willing choice you make to go down a path or paths. Um, the private investigator is about to make a free willing decision to have a conversation with a judge. And this conversation is about to become very significant and it's going to create a series of chain of events. The decision this private investigator is about to make with to conversate with this judge. Um, and it's going to affect some of you guys' lives, either in a positive way or a negative way. You plug it in how it resonates. Uh, humanity. Crimes against humanity have been really, really, really committed. However, balance is about to be created in the universe. Crimes against humanity have really been created um, in the past, it sounds like, but now um, it sounds like balance is about to be restored in the universe. So huge crimes against humanity. The pedophile energy is huge crimes against humanity. Well, we've pulled in a lot of crimes in here, but to me, the pedophile energy is the worst crimes against humanity, and that's, that's just true. Now, Secret 7 could be crimes against humanity, too, but I'm not pulling that in no more, thank God. Um, that was a horrible against humanity. Horrible. Um, illegal case studies on families or horrible crimes against humanity. Um, they're just, those are horrible crimes against humanity and that's, that's just the truth. But I heard basically balance is about to be restored. So thank God for that. You plug it in how it resonates. Family sor sorrow.
An Aries is about to start fighting for custody of a, ch of a child. Know this. An Aries is about to start fighting for custody of a child. Know this. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if one of you guys, an Aries, is about to start fighting for custody of a, I heard a child. So one child, I'm presuming, uh, for whoever that's for. Um, some kind of Aries energy. They could be a mass for them Aries. They could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, and Haven, Jupiter charts. I heard they're going to start fighting for custody of a child. I think one child, I think it might be. A child you have with this Aries, I'm thinking, um, Libra. But you plug it in how it resonates. And a Virgo is about to man up. Know this. In a huge way. A huge way. He's about to fight for custody, too, of one child. Oh, my Lord. So, we've got an Aries about to fight for custody of a child, I think, by a Libra. And a Virgo, I heard, is about to man up in a huge way, a masculine Virgo. And I heard he's about to fight for custody of a child, too. Um, I think a child of a Libra's. Um, I think y'all have the child together, um, whoever this person is. Some, some is an Aries about to fight for custody of a child from a Libra. For some, it's a Virgo. Um, they can have Aries or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, Ben Hammer, Jupiter charts. I think you're going to be sad. Um, Libra, that you're, uh, whoever you are, I think you're about to go to the court of law for child custody battle is what I'm feeling here. But you plug it in how it resonates. Given the past, for one of you, they will win. For one, they will not. Given the past. Okay, I heard given the past, for one of you guys, they will win. And given the past, for one of you guys, they will not. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Only you know your past, not anybody else, Libra. So, for some of you guys, it sounds like you have nothing to worry about. Like, your past is fine. It's cool. It's You haven't done anything to deserve child or children to be taken away. But for one, it sounds like there's some kind of past that's going to cause the child or children to be taken away through the child custody battle. It sounds like it's going to be court of law energy. Um, and I'm just being serious here. Definite legal action coming. Definite legal action coming, yeah. I think they're about to go through the court of law and do this. Haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. A Libra that really has been telling the truth the whole time, you're about to receive wonderful karma. Some in your home life, some in your work life. And a Libra that has been manipulating and lying, you're about to receive horrible karma. Know this. Okay. So, uh, one of you guys, you're high vibrational. Um, you have work and family life, whoever you are, high vibrational Libra. Heard, uh, you've been telling the truth the whole time. I heard you're about to receive great karma, basically. So, kudos to you, sir or ma'am. You can be masculine or feminine. But for one of you guys, you've been manipulating and lying, basically, um, on person, people, place, or situation. I heard you're about to receive horrible karma. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. And for one, you're about to receive an unexpected payout. High vibrational Libra. And for one Libra, you're about to be shocked. A very high vibrational fire sign that did not receive any payouts in the past. From companies they should have are about to start receiving payouts. Okay, so high vibrational Libra, you're about to receive a payout. Congrats to whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, you you be masculine or feminine, you're about to receive a payout. So that's positive karma. Uh, I heard you're high vibrational. So you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. You're not the liar and the manip manipulator, whoever you are. But there's a very low vibrational Libra in here. 
that I heard a fire sign femme. Um, she um, did not receive any payouts in the past, um, but I heard through many series of training events she's going to start receiving payouts. Um, as I heard from companies she should have in the past, and I heard this Libra is going to be very upset about it. Um, low vibration Libra, so um, I don't know why this person is going to be upset about somebody else's payouts. Um, it doesn't sound like it's this person's payouts. It sounds like it's the fires on Finn's payouts, but I don't know. I'm not this person. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But one of you guys, you're very high vibrational. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. And you're about to receive your payout, sir, ma'am. Congratulations, whoever that's for. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. One Libra is going to start exercising. And one Libra is about to go to human resources and tell the truth on the past. Okay. One Libra is going to start exercising soon. Congratulations to whoever's about to start exercising soon. And one Libra, I heard, is about to go to human resources and tell the truth on the past. So whoever you are, Libra, um, you, feel, you have a human resources in your department in some shape, form, or in your company. In some shape, form, or fashion, I heard you're about to go to human resources and tell the truth on the past, whatever the truth of the past is for you, and however that resonates, okay? I think you're about to increase your efforts um, as far as telling the truth on the past. Uh, for one, and for one, increasing your efforts for exercising, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, door opportunities are waiting for you. When you go to Human Resources and tell the truth on the past, it's about to create many series of chain events. Know this. Okay, I heard when you go to Human Resources and tell the truth on the past, it's about to create many series of chain of events. Know this. So hopefully positive series of chain of events. I mean, it really all depends on what the past is and what you're displaying. Um, I'm not sure. But you plug it in how it resonates, um, Libra. Door opportunities are waiting for you. A food truck is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. And a brother. A food truck is about to become very significant in a Libra's life and a brother. So that could be your brother or somebody you're connected to's brother and some kind of food truck energy. Um, it could be you running this food truck or managing this food truck or you bought this food truck or you're purveying this food truck. However, that resonates and applies in one's life, some kind of food truck energy. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, Libra. A gift from a child is about to become very significant in Libra's life as well. And a gift from a child is about to become very significant in a Libra's life as well. Some kind of gift from a child. So you plug it in how it resonates, Libra. Um, however that re resonates. And an Aries feminine of a Libra's past is about to come back. Heavy, heavy, heavy partier. And an um, Aries femme of a Libra's past. You can be masculine or femme Libra. Heard of Aries feminine, though, of your past. Uh, she could have Aries in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them, in Haven, or Jupiter charts. Um, she's about to come back in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard she was a heavy, heavy, heavy party. So you plug it in how it resonates, Libra. Uh, you Only you know your situation. Uh, hopefully, you're not a heavy partier, but I don't know. Only you know if you are or not. Um, you have to plug it in your own life, how it resonates. Only you know what occupation you're in. 
what situation you're in, what where you're at in life, if you will allow this heavy Aries part of your back into your life or not, okay? The past is about to come back in a huge way for one Libra. For some, this is going to be very positive. For some, it's going to be very negative. The past is about to come back in a huge way for a particular Libra. For one of you guys, it's going to be very positive. For one, it's going to be very negative. So you plug it in however, however it resonates um, in your life. All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. I hope this helps. Namaste.